Hello everyone, this is Dan here, and I'm in this video I will be showcasing a new train hub that I came up with that works in 1.6. And the original problem we had is I came back to the private server I used to play on, and due to the 1.6 upgrade, all of our um, minecart stations failed horribly because they were all based on... Uh, I'm not sure who the original designer is, but we got it from Seth, Lang Seth Bling's video. And as you might know from it, the idea is that you and a minecart hit a cactus. The cactus breaks the minecart, which is collected in a hopper. And you phase through the um, cactus to the other side. Unfortunately, this does not work in 1.6. And as such, we needed a new concept. So I redesigned it, found something that works, and built an nice looking train station out of it with four exits so just to show you the, what the problem is right here i have more or less of an the way it was designed in or like the train station we had before like this and i'll actually show you that it works in 1.5.2 so remember that this right now this is minecraft 1.5.2 um will you get out god all right, so is it gone? It's gone. Okay, so you go in, you pass through, and as you can notice, you're right here. The um, hopper there is the one that collects the minecarts. So let's see this again. You pass through and you appear on the other side. So that's what happened in 1.5.2. Now I will come back in 1.6 and I'll show you what happens in 1.6. By the way, the reason it's like that is because it's kind of full at the moment. So be back in a moment. All right, and this right here is 1.6 version of Minecraft. So let's do the exact same thing we did before. And there you go. There's the entire failure. As you can see, I did not pass through and I in fact gained another minecart. So let's try it again. And I guess sometimes you pick up the minecart and sometimes as you, as you hopefully noticed just now, I picked up the minecart instead of it going into the dropper, or hopper, sorry. And if you want to know what could be worse than that is if there is a only a single block entrance way like that, what actually happens is you kind of end up in this situation here where you really can't do much without, you know, breaking your way out. So that is the supposedly fix for 1.6 with the uh, cactuses so I had to come up with something else as you can see I went through several different methods with just a hit the minecart and got pushed away and that didn't work so I tried just kind of dropping the minecart in into the cactus and I should mention that both this and the other one somewhat worked but you have still had this pickup of the minecart instead of it being guaranteed of going into the hopper and please remember that because that is important so I actually thought of what else can break a minecart, so naturally I came up with l using lava. So if you can notice, it goes into the lava, and actually, if you check it, uh, where's the last one? See, there it is. So it actually collects the minecarts, even though theoretically, I guess it starts burning, but it actually doesn't, it just passes through completely. So that was an idea, and I kind of had some fun with just kind of dropping myself into lava. And several iterations afterwards, I came up with this, where I used a chest because the chest has a very small, like a t small, uh, sorry, a small bit, a little bit less of a hitbox than a solid block. So this caused the mount card to actually be able to be broken and collected, while at the same time it's large enough to prevent you from getting damaged by the lava. Notice if I used a normal block and send it in, it does that. Not something you want to happen. So continuing on, I came up with that, finalized the different versions and added four different exits that you could use. So you go into here, it's a nice, um, you know, departure arrival area. You, this is the arrival, that's the departure. So you select which way you wanna go it switches, this closes and opens once the switching is complete. You click on that and go. Once you click on this, the block once again closes off to prevent anyone else from 
entering while you're being sorted. And as well, this thing locks up so no one else can kind of switch your destination to make you go where you don't want to go. So you click on that, it automatically sends you off. As you can see, it was one, pass through, hit you th over, and there you go. Now let me go game mode. And this is now survival, so you can check the health. So in you go, pass through into the first exit, get out get pushed in, no damage whatsoever. And once again, you can just switch to a different one that switches, you go inside, you pass through, you go into the last one, you come back and same thing happens. So there you go. And that's the larger version. It's got quite a bit of redstone. This is the smaller version with only one exit, one entrance. As you can see, it's somewhat like, you know, relatively close to the original design by, I don't know, but as I said, the video originally where we got it from was by Seth Bling. So there you go. And uh, we did quite a lot of changes here, not the lava notwithstanding. And uh, if you actually tried with cactus, it actually does work and everything follows as it's supposed to be. But there is the tiny problem that sometimes, and I, you know, I can keep trying and I guess we'll be able to see if it does this time. Let's go and see. Yeah, see, there we go. You picked up the minecart. So there's still the problem that once you come back, you should come here and kind of drop off the minecarts into here to make sure that you don't carry off the minecarts. The lava does not have that problem. So you just go in. You pass through, you go in, it pushes you out. As you can see, I did not pick up the minecart. So there you go, that's basically it. I will show you the redstone, just a brief overview here. It's, that's the redstone in here. There's the selection right here that controls these. That here combined with a RS Norlatch here is the making sure that all of these are locked when you leave to make sure no one can kind of switch positions. So if you sit in and go, it goes like that. And as you can see, you pass through and then these get unlocked. So someone else can go in and go in a different direction. There we go. Simple, easy, works. And I will be making a tutorial of how to make this. Uh, you know, probably either before or after I make the one for the Iron Golem form, I haven't decided yet. And just to finalize, this is another version with four exits that I made. And my brother kind of likes this one instead of the other one because it, instead of having a selection screen, there is two different locations and each one has its own dedicated exit point. So you kind of don't have to do the entire shuffling between selections and any like, you know, four people can exit at the same time into four different directions. And this one is somewhat simple as well. Like each one co comes out and all of them come in, go around here, collecting more coming in from here. And then they go up into here and into the same setup as it was before. So you just kind of uh, here, let's go with this one. You go in, you leave, you go up, you pass through here, you go up into here and it causes you to fall into here and into the arrival. So that's it. This one is really just a different setup of multiple versions of this one without the um, arrival mechanism. So just this exit mechanism with the single arrival at the top. Whereas that one is this setup with a, you know, the tracks continuing on and subdividing as you should have seen here into different directions based on redstone. So whichever one you prefer, you can build it. I will get out a tutorial for this sometime later and hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. And this is Dan signing off. See you guys.